in Melbourne. Um, this February I've spent all of my time in Melbourne, which is wonderful because I haven't been back for so long for maybe like the past one year and a half because usually I only come up for a week or two weeks. So it's just been a very chill month. Didn't really get up to much actually. Oh no, I went to Bali for a few days. Um, vlog will be up sometime soon. I've just been enjoying just sort of chilling and relaxing, like actually sleeping in my bed and you know, sitting on my couch, eating home cooked food, so it's been awesome. And I've also got a lot of favorites this month because I got to pick up a lot of things in Australia that I don't get to see in Shanghai. So today we're going to start off with beauty favorites. Um, my skin has been awesome in Australia. I don't know if it's just the non-polluted air and the sunshine and the naturalness and the freshness and the amazingness but um, I've also added a few products into my skincare routine so a lot of people have said that my skin um, was really nice this time that I came back I'm not trying to be cocky or anything but um, I've used two products I've been using SK2 treatment essence for a long time and I feel like it's helped a lot like my skin feels really nice and soft now it went through like a really dry and nasty phase I also got sent this product from Dell Organics if you would like to focus on that camera that would be awesome. Dell Organics is the vitamin C serum. I also got the hydrocolic acid serum or something, but I've only started try using this. It's organic and it's vegan and it's cruelty free. So it says that it's for this serum is 20% packed with a stabilized vitamin C. Blah 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 blah. It serves as a stable and potent antioxidant to our skin. So basically, you just put it on after cleansing and toning. What I do is I like to put my few drops of. Um, SK2 on and then I put three drops of this on and then I sort of just mush it together and I put it on my face and I do that morning and night because it's been so hot I don't put any moisturizer on so I feel like it's helped greatly this product is awesome like not just saying that because it got sent to me but honestly like it was bad I told them I was like I would not talk about it but I feel like my skin is actually really nice it looks a lot more alive like in Shanghai my skin just feels really gray and dry and just nasty and lifeless all the time see another product that I throw into the mix is something from Lush now I've missed Lush so much I mean not that I have a bath in Shanghai and I can buy bath bombs but just their products are so natural and sort of organic and just really good for the skin so this is called the ultra bland facial cleanser it's been wax and rose cream cleanser to soften and thoroughly clean the skin so this is what it looks like on the inside it kind of just looks like a cream it's kind of like a cream cleanser I've never used a cleanser like this before so what you do is you put a little bit and you put it all over your face and you kind of like massage it into your face and then you dry use like a dry cloth or like a flannel wet cloth warm wet flannel cloth or something I don't have flannel cloth if anyone knows where you can get a flannel cloth please tell me because I've just been using toilet paper or makeup sort of pads that'd be good and I just wipe it off and even if you don't wear makeup that day it'll wipe off and you'll see like the residue left and you're like oh my skin was that dirty like imagine if I didn't cleanse my skin because I don't like cleansing my skin all the time with cleansers because it sort of just kills my skin so this has been awesome I probably do it maximum once a day if I haven't worn makeup for like two days and I'll probably just do it once in the two days it does leave kind of like an oily residue so if you have oily skin I wouldn't recommend it but if you have dry problematic sensitive skin I would definitely recommend it like my skin has been awesome so yeah I just put a bit on and I use a toilet paper to wipe it off and then I sort of just wash it with a bit of water because then I just feel like it's too kind of sticky but yeah it feels awesome Another thing that I picked up from Lush is a face mask. This is the mask of Magna Minty. My friend picked it up and I loved it because it's got peppermint in it. Like, it looks nasty. I'll show a video of me wearing it. But um, it looks disgusting. It smells awesome. It's got peppermint, duh, and it's got like honey in it as well, so it's good for dry skin. There's actually two forms. There's the self-preserving and the non-self-preserving. Self-preserving has honey and it's better for dry skin, so that's why I chose it. I don't really do masks because I'm allergic to a lot of them. I probably do a mask like once a week, just kind of like a really mild scrub soft mask because I don't want my skin getting any drier than it is and I don't want to irritate it. But this mask is just so fun. It feels so nice. I've done it probably like twice every week and even my guy friends really like it. Like I put, put it all over their face and they're like, mm, this stuff is so good. I'm going to go buy some. So yeah, man approved. Mask of Magnum Minty. So food wise, I've been in heaven because I actually haven't had yogurt or like proper ice cream for so long because I'm allergic to dairy. Well, you know, it makes me feel really uncomfortable, stomach ache and you know the works. So when I saw that all the Safeway and Coles here, they had like soy um, yogurt and coconut yogurt, I went on it. So nudie coconut yogurt is actually really good. But this ice cream, oh my goodness, like it's so good. I got it from Leo's, like the fine food supermarket, so you can't find this in Safeway. But it's called Coco Frio, check this out, caramel honey macadamia. And it's vegan, refined, sugar free and gluten free, like it tastes awesome even my friends love it and i love the taste of coconut but it's a very subtle taste of coconut so if you don't like it too much you'll still like it but 
Hello, I just finished it before making this video, so it was really good and, you know, a guilt-free dessert. So with music this month, I've been loving Troy Sivan. Like, I used to not see him as a singer because, you know, he just made YouTube videos. He's hilarious and he's so young as well. But when this album came out, Blue Neighborhood, like, hello, it was awesome. It's kind of got a little bit of eclectic, like electronic feel to it but then it's also very slow and it's just so chill and it's just like an album you can put on while you're driving it's like a road trip sort of album it's awesome my favorite of course is youth and wild and suburbia but every single song in this album flows so well like you can tell it's packaged into one whole album but every single song is still has still got its own feel to it so make sure you play it in chronological order because it feels really good <laughs> another artist i've been really enjoying over this summer is jack johnson i've always liked his songs like i've always loved banana pancakes and taylor but i downloaded most of the albums this summer just because i've been traveling in the car a lot and like when i was in bali and just sort of in the taxi and just driving to places it was just like it's such a chill album to listen to very sort of tropical island feeling guitar acoustic just I love that kind of music I also got to see a lot of new movies because I was on the plane so I watched Age of Adeline I watched Age of Adeline with Blake Lively I've wanted to watch that since the trailer comes out I've never really liked Blake Lively in the, as an actor like I don't really get it because I feel like everything she acts in and she's exactly the same like sister with traveling pets um, gossip girl she's more or less the same person but I was blown away with her acting for this one so age of Adeline is basically like a woman that never ages she's not like immortal like she could die but she just looks exactly the same and oh my goodness Blake Lively look amazing in this so she's been stuck the same age for almost you know a hundred years and it's just about a story about love but it's very different and she's so old in style like Blake Lively got the old in style really regal classical woman she got it down pat like she did it really well it's a tearjerker I cried a few times it's just a very beautiful story about love and sort of aging and she was kind of just like what's the point of falling in love if you don't get to grow old together because I've always hated the fact of that we'll be growing old and you know one day we'll be gone but this movie sort of just made me appreciate it so much more it's like if you can't grow all together then like what's the point so I think it had a really nice strong message and for me personally it was very touching another movie this is a comedy it's called The Martian I usually never watch any space or intergalactic films or sci-fi because it kind of freaks me out but this one was actually like really hilarious like Matt Damon is really funny I wouldn't even put it under drama it was comedy but like towards the end um, actually, I'll tell you the backstory. It's about this guy. He's on Mars. There's like a mission and then he gets left behind while his crew leaves. So basically, he can't survive on Mars, right? Because you can't plant food and everything. So it's kind of just like a survival thing. If you've ever seen like The Island, I think it was, on a castaway with Tom Hanks. It's kind of like that, but he actually talks because there's like GoPro and cameras there. So he's kind of like vlogging to himself every day and it's hilarious. And like the troubles he goes through, oh my goodness. But the characters in the show just really well. You've got some really strong sort of stereotypical characteristics and this Chinese people in the movie too so that's always a plus um but yeah like towards the end of the movie and my plane was touching down as well and I was like shaking I was literally like on the edge of my seat I was like clamping onto my hands like that like it was so intense my heart felt like it was gonna explode but it's a really good movie I've been recommending it to all my friends as well now things that I've bought this month like usually I'm one of those people who don't really get cheap sunglasses because I feel like it's bad for your eyes and stuff but I'm just really careless with all my items and material items like I have a few pair of good sunglasses but because I don't put them in like a box or anything I just chuck them in my bag and I just leave them everywhere they're so scratched to the point that I cannot see clearly through them anymore so I was like that's it I lose expensive sunnies all the time and I wreck them so I'm just gonna get some cheap ones for when I go holiday and stuff so key Australia sunglasses has definitely been my sunglass of choice this summer I got this middle of the year so what when I go to Guilin like it doesn't break and I was really scared of losing them and I've gotten so many compliments about these ones they're kind of a little bit cat eye I really like them they literally go with everything so it's kind of got the turtle like the what is it like the tur turquoise tor tortoise shell and then I picked up two more these ones are from ASOS they're the my girl I think but they're special edition because only ASOS had this sort of marble granite print and if you saw my last month's favorite I really like marble print so this is what these look like I do like the cat eye I don't know why I love this style but yes and then another pair sort of marbly as well I needed some pair that was kind of more like a neutral color so because I wear a lot of light colors and it will work but dun -dun -dun. These are sort of more big and chunky and sort of sharper, but um, I really like the color. The only thing I don't like about these is is the lens, how it's like black and reflective. Like they're like a dark silver reflective. I would have much liked it more if it was kind of like a beigey, like 
brownie reflective material but you know you can't win it all so all these sunnies are like $50 each they ship so fast Princess Polly stocks them ASOS stocks them but yeah I've been asked quite a few times where I got my sunnies from so but on the more pricier side of things this month I did splurge actually January I splurged because I got a bonus at the end of the year for my work after them not paying me for six months so I was like oh I have so much money and I was like I've been working so hard so I really wanted to spoil myself with something and dun, 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 dun. isn't it beautiful like I saw this bag um, during I think spring season in the windows at Dolce & Gabbana and it was so pretty because I love this sort of china print and I saw it and I was like oh mom that's so gorgeous and it had all these clothes and like materials and all this pattern and I loved it and then I just sort of never really thought about it again and then this Christmas holidays once I got paid and everything I was walking through and we were like oh, let's have a look at Dolce & Gabbana even though we can't afford anything and we went in and this holy bag was just like on the table and I was like wow and the woman was like yeah it's on sale and I was like oh and I was like how much is it so it came out to about 2000 Australian um full price it was probably close to 3,000 Australian so yeah it was a lot of money wasn't planning on buying it but because I've been sort of eyeing it for over a year and I always think about it I was like it's worth it if I get this bag and because I wear a lot of whites and blacks and sort of blues I can just pair it with so many outfits and it actually fits so much like you open it up and it's got that zip compartment and it's got the little mirror and then it's got another compartment there so it's been my summer bag because I can throw a water bottle, my wallet and like a camera, my phone, my phone charger, like it fits so much and I just really love it. I think it's a Sicily bag so they have this bag in like all sorts of colours and patterns but this was like a collection pattern so they don't have this pattern anymore but the new season like looks amazing, it's like a carnival pattern, I really want it but I don't have any money so this is what I splurged on. I know it's like a waste of money to buy such an expensive bag but I just feel like I deserve it and you know what, I bought it myself so. Next up is a pair of shoes, um, I actually bought these yesterday and I fell in love, like I usually never shop at Witness Shoes, I always buy my shoes from like Tony Bank if I'm here, because I used to work there, I guess I'm kind of just kind of biased, but when I saw them I was like oh this is so pretty, like I always love lace up shoes and like, and look at the little heel on them, so it's just like a crisscross lace up and initially I wanted the black pair but because I already have a pair of heels that look exactly the same as the sort of the black ones, I was like maybe I'll get burgundy and I do wear a lot of colours so it would work really nice and they're just they're just so cute. They're like $180 from Winna. Um, they're suede and I love suede. But the burgundy is kind of like a warm wine red. So it goes with like a lot of nice bright colors. Like honestly, I would wear this with yellow and oranges and greens and whites and blacks. And neutrals and browns and beiges. Maybe not like greens. But oh, don't worry, these shoes are really clean. I haven't worn them yet. So I can put them on my face. But yeah, I mean, they're so ladylike. And the heel... It's so chunky and short, like they're so comfortable. I was wearing them around my house for like four hours yesterday because I just didn't want to take them off. Didn't hurt at all. Also, um, this is a bit more on the pricey side, but I've got a lot of questions about this necklace. This is the close-up. It's sort of like a pearly thing and then gold around it. It's from Bulgari, Bulgari, Bulgari. Um, my godbrother got it for me, so thank you. So, um, yeah, I've always wanted a necklace that you can just wear all the time and never take off. He initially actually got me the silver. Um, silver chain and like the black onyx in the middle and I was like oh it's really pretty like I did think it was really pretty and he was like oh yeah there was a sil white and gold one he was like but I think white and gold looks too old and like it doesn't suit you and I was like oh yeah and he's like but you should go check it out and I saw it and I fell in love because I'm more of a light color person and I just really like the pearly like can you imagine me wearing a black onyx like that's so gangster man so swag I couldn't do that <laughs> So to end this month's favourites, I don't really have a particular quote. I mean, I saw good things, a few good things, but I don't really feel like it applied to my month as much. So my motto or mantra for this year is just to go with the flow and be sort of more YOLO because I always overthink things and I never really go for things sometimes because I'm just too scared that, you know, it won't work out or I'll just make a fool of myself because I'm like a really awkward person. I'm just really scared of being embarrassed. Like I hate being embarrassed. But this year I just sort of wanted to go with the flow more and it's actually just been so much more chill. Like this, I'm planning July and August, I'm gonna go to LA and just sort of suss it out. Nothing happens and nothing happens, but if I get an audition, that's awesome. If I find an agent, even more awesome. But you know, just go with the flow, see where it takes me, because at least I feel like I'm actually doing something towards my dream of doing acting, because I don't wanna just get stuck doing sort of presenting and hosting and everything. Um, even though it's a very, very good job, but it's not where my passions lie, and I still wanna chase after my dreams. 
And even with friendships as well, like a lot of friends come and go, especially if you live overseas, you're gonna lose friends all the time. So of course, like every year I sort of lose a few more friends, but I do gain a few more friends as well. So just go with the flow, like if you lose them, like the time was up, if you gain a new friend, then okay. And then also just with like work as well, like I used to get so obsessed over work and like really stressed out because I want to do really well, but it still wouldn't make me happy. So you know, if the job offer comes then if I like it I'll take it but if I don't like it I just will reject it like I rejected my first few job offers and ugh it feels great because back then I wouldn't reject any job offers at all because I felt like I wasn't in a position to say no like I didn't want them to think that I was on a high horse and I was like oh this job isn't good enough for me even though I just started in the industry I have like no sort of background no good resume and my Chinese is shocking so I didn't want to seem up myself but now I feel like that I can do that and I'm just don't worry about the consequences so much because just do what you do and just if there is consequences deal with it if not then just that's even better i think basically what i'm trying to say is just just go for it really just go for it but yeah i guess that's kind of the message that i just wanted to convey to you worry a little less because everyone's sort of graduating now and kind of really stressful like looking for a job and just really stressed out that they don't have their life together yet like honestly we all thought that we would have gotten our life together by the time we graduated but you know what we don't and there's no point in stressing about it and comparing yourself to everyone else just go with your own flow and be open to opportunities because if you're not open and you always close yourself up you're not going to get any of these opportunities and you're going to be wondering like why am i still stuck here like honestly it's kind of your fault so go with the flow be more open say yes don't say yes for things you don't want to do but say yes if you do want to do it like don't be scared and be more adventurous so that's it for me next time unfortunately i'll be back away from home i'll be back in shanghai which is like awesome but still like sad to leave but thank you so much for watching this video it was another super long one hopefully i can make it a bit shorter and i'll see ya next time <laughs>